Hi, my name is Robin Bremer. I'm the author of Kingdom Justice and Liberty for All and Feed My People Joy Kingdom Living for End Times. And today I want to go over a scripture that just really popped out at me yesterday and sort of is one of those scriptures that's life changing. I knew it, but I see that God showed it to me in a whole new way and I hope it changes your life like it did mine. It's Romans 5.18. It's and this is the New King James Version, which is my favorite. Therefore, as though as through one man's offense judgment came to all men, resulting in condemnation, even so through one man's righteous act the free gift came to all men, resulting in justification of life. Okay, so what I want to point out, and what God pointed out to me in the scripture that was really um, eye opening is um, First of all, one thing I notice when I minister to people is the biggest thing that keeps people from walking in God's presence and God's power and having a ministry that has no power in it and a life that is full of sickness, diseases, and problems is they feel condemned. When anybody sins, you know that you when you do something wrong, you need to have uh, consequences in this world. So. Their thought is, okay, I did something wrong, unconsciously even thinking this, I did something wrong, I need to be punished. So their body starts punishing themselves, it starts coming up in stress and other things. And they start feeling condemned and guilty and shamed and, and worthless. And that is the biggest issue that I come across when I minister to people. Uh, they want to stop doing a certain habit or sin, or they want to walk in God's presence and power. And both of those have the same root cause, and that's um, shame, guilt, and condemnation. And when preachers preach, you know, come down to the altar and repent of your sin or you're going to go to hell, then people uh, begin to get insecure in their relationship with Jesus and pull away from Jesus because they realize that, well, I can be saved today by the blood of Jesus, but if I sin and don't repent then I'm on my way to hell which is not true because the blood of Jesus paid for our sins Jesus died was the lamb that died from the foundation of the earth before we were even born and uh, he paid for all of our sins before we were born so when he died he paid for our lifetime of sins now you don't want to sin because the consequences of sin is you you um, you're playing in the devil's kingdom when you sin so you want to stay out of there and you fall so much in G so much in love with Jesus that you don't want to sin that's what it comes down to but the thing is when people know that their lifetime of sin is forgiven and they are they begin for the first time to have a relationship with Jesus Christ instead of having a religion and going to church every day and doing the right thing saying the right thing and being under pressure to follow the Ten Commandments the Ten Commandments is for the Jews and it's for the Old Testament okay it's not for today it's not if we break a commandment we're going to hell we don't want to sin. I'm not saying sin. Sin is anything that separates you from God. You don't want to sin, but you're not going to go to hell for sinning. You go to hell for one reason, and that's for not accepting the free gift of Jesus. You want to have a relationship with Him. And when you realize that you're not going to go to hell because you mess up, or because you didn't rem remember a sin you did, or you deliberately did or didn't, or whatever, you begin to have a relationship. Now, that is the number one thing that I find when I pray for people. Once they get a hold of that, their whole life changes and they walk in power. But this one scripture, look at this one scripture again. Romans 5.18 says, Therefore, as, as through one man's offense, judgment came. Okay? Adam sinned. So everybody born Adam had all you inside of his body and when Adam sinned like he gets like everybody born after Adam was born a sinner okay and because they're a sinner they sin and that separated us from God oh, I wish I could teach about that today but anyway okay so that was the judgment the judgment came and the judgment continuing that verse says resulted in condemnation okay 
So, the judgment of one man's sin resulted, it came to all men and it resulted in condemnation. Now, okay, when we go out in the street and we witness and we say, you're going to hell because you got tattoos on your body, you're smoking, it's stupid, you know. Uh, you smoke, you swear you're going to hell. That's not true, first of all, but that will chase someone away, not make them want to get saved. Um, you don't point out people's sin. Right here it says that judgment came and it resulted in condemnation. So people are already under condemnation. That was a judgment. They're all condemned. They're all under condemnation. You don't have to tell someone they're a sinner. You don't have to tell uh, some Christian down the street that they're sinning doing this. They know it. They're all condemned. Um, but this is showing us that that was the result. Now, Satan comes along and he takes that condemnation and he drills it in your head. Okay, when Jesus came and died on the cross, he paid for that condemnation. He paid for that judgment. That judgment is over. Jesus was condemned for in our place. He took the place. He took all the condemnation. So now we are free from condemnation. But the devil comes to us and yak, 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 in our brain, telling us stuff, talking to us. And he uses it in the first person. He says, I am stupid. I'm dumb. I'm sick. I did this wrong. I can never quit. But that's not you, I, saying it. It's the devil saying I. Okay, talking to you. So, the key thing that I really got excited about is it resulted in condemnation. So, anytime there's condemnation, there's judgment. And judgment is from the devil because we've already been judged. So, don't allow any kind of condemnation to come on you in any way, shape, or form. It's from the devil. Okay? Jesus paid the price for our sins. And he took them away. And now, when God looks at us, he looks at us through the blood of Jesus. We are righteous. We are holy. We are unblameable and unreproachable in God's sight. So don't let anybody tell you any differently. So once you get a hold of that, go to my website, robinbremer.net, and get some more of my teaching. It'll set you free and help you walk in God's presence and power. And remember... Jesus not, did not die on the cross for our sins. Jesus died on the cross and paid the price for our sins so that we could be reconciled to God. The purpose was reconciliation. Sin separated us from God. When Jesus died on the cross, he reconciled us to God. So that's another awesome scripture. Um, my name is Robin Bremer. .net is my website. I hope you check it out and get set on fire and get set free. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.